see women dying unnecessarily and um, most of it is because they come late uh, for the consultations. Women and families and communities need to be very much aware of cervical cancer so that they can be able to be diagnosed early. We need to increase vaccination around the country and at the same time we need to look at the treatment making it more accessible and affordable. HIV positive women are five times more likely to develop cervical cancer. We spend billions of dollars a year to identify and treat women with antiretroviral therapy. We should spend a few more dollars to screen them and ensure they don't die of cervical cancer. What we see from our setup is to understand what treatment methods we should use and therefore it will now inform HIV uh, programs throughout the world, especially in low, low to middle income countries, um, how they can now set up maybe similar programs in their own HIV clinics. And by doing that, we think we can really treat quite a number of women and really make a substantial impact in preventing cervical cancer. I think the work we are doing here is making a positive uh, outcome. When they come here and we check them, we find that they are sick and we treat them. They go and tell the others to come for treatment, to be checked, and if they are sick, they are treated. We continue checking them whether they are healed and we find that they are fine. So we are happy. And when they find that they, have, they are well now, they continue passing the, the message to other people to come to hospital. So we are happy with the work. In countries like Kenya, we can see that the impact of cervical cancer goes beyond the woman herself and affects their families. And yet cervical cancer is a treatable and highly preventable form of cancer. So the best way to eliminate cervical cancer is to ensure that girls are vaccinated. So beyond the vaccine, uh, for us to beat cervical cancer, we need to also ensure that we are doing screening. The next big thing is to ensure that we have continuous screening of women. One of the key things we see as being a success is that as we implement the vaccine, we introduce what we call the mother-girl pair. So the girl comes for the vaccine and the mother comes for cervical cancer screening. So those are the two things we think that we'll see us uh, start to see a change in the cervical cancer burden uh, in this country. Our work every day when we get up in the morning is to figure out how to motivate people, um, spread the word, educate people so that we can get funding for programs to screen women and to vaccinate girls. Now is the time to work together to end this disease.